friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I have my spring favorites video. It is like a one month overdue but I'm really excited to be sharing it with you anyways. Uh, as you know my March was a little bit bananas um, and so I got behind and one of the things I got behind on was this video. All of the other amazing people in this collab have already posted their videos so I will link the list down below. If you haven't watched them already you probably have by now because it's been a month uh, but I will put the list down below. You should go check them out. There are so many amazing channels on that list and I hope you find a new favorite. Without further ado, let's dive into my favorites. I did my video a little bit differently this season. I decided to just pick some categories. Um, sometimes I've done like the rainbow and tried to do every single color. This month I just decided to pick some categories and I'm gonna do my favorites within the categories that I've been really drawn to this year. They're actually a little bit different than they were last year which is kind of cool. It's neat to see your tastes you know, evolve over time. First category I want to talk about are soft yellows, and I decided to pick only polishes that are, to my knowledge, still available right now. I also decided not to put any of my polishes in because that felt weird. Like, they're all my favorites. I didn't want to just tell you that they're my favorites again. So there are no all of our polishes in this video, but not because I don't love them, obviously. Um, I just decided that I wanted to show you some other things in this video. So the two yellows that I picked are Cirque Colors Vanderbilt. This one is a soft and delicate yellow, but it's got a little bit of a twist. It's like a little bit Dijon-y, a little bit mustardy, a little bit, you know, kind of khaki. It's like dirty a little bit, um, but I love this one on my skin tone. I think it's gorgeous. It's very delicate. It's, it's basically a neutral, um, but it's a yellow, so I think it's a little bit surprising. I wore this one recently and I absolutely adored it. And then on the complete opposite end of the yellow spectrum, this one is Palette Polish Butter. This is a very creamy, super warm, has like a lot of kind of orange in it. It's absolutely stunning. Um, so it's very different from my Lemon Blossom, which is very white toned. There's like no orange in it at all. This one has a lot more orange. It's a lot creamier. Uh, it's just absolutely delicious. I do wear this one in three coats, uh, but I find that you can do like fairly thin coats with this and so the three doesn't get to feel like too much, you know, it feels totally manageable. Alright, the next category that I've been really drawn to are these kind of like very light but warm kind of pinky purple. So I would say that these are like lilac-y purples. Um, I've been so drawn to these this year. I've worn a lot of them so far. Um, I released one. I just, I'm really loving these. So the first one that I picked is Zoya's Perry. I actually wore this earlier in April. It is a beautiful, like very, very pink leaning purple. This one's a lot more pink than Rhododendron is from All About Polish. It is just a stunning, uh, I love this polish. It feels so like warm and feminine, but still like funky and fun. It's a great polish. Perry is an absolutely great polish. Uh, the formula on this was a little bit thinner than I remembered the last time that I wore it. Uh, so it did, like, I got a little bit of running and pooling on my nails, um, but once I kind of reminded myself how to work with it, it was not a problem at all, and I got it opaque in two coats. Okay, and then I know a lot of you know that this is one of my all-time favorite Zoyas. This is Haruko. I just, when I wear this polish, I feel like a fairy or something. I feel like just a magical being. It is so gorgeous. It's a perfect, beautiful base with a bright pink uh, shimmer. Or maybe it's even just a flash. Like, you don't get it in every lighting, but when you're outside in the sunlight or when you have light directly on it, you just see this gleam and this glow. It's like ethereal. It's absolutely stunning. I do wear this one in three coats. You know, it's a little bit thinner so that you can see that shimmer, but I don't mind. I think it's perfect. I think this polish is just perfection. <laughs> All right, and then the third one that I picked is Can You Not? This is from the Color Club uh, Whatever Forever collection, which came out last year. It was their 2019 collection of pastel neons. Um, I really like this one because it's very bright. It's very in your face and it's purple, but it's very, very warm. Um, and it's, it just felt different than some of the other purples in my collection. Um, and it felt a little bit more like exciting and inviting and springy. Um, so I really enjoyed this one. It's very delicate, very soft, and I believe it's still available. All right, next up I picked some blues. I love wearing blue in mm, every season. Yep, every season, uh, but especially I love it in spring, especially these like super white based blues. I just think they're so light and so lovely. I have two from Zoya. The first one is actually what I'm wearing today. This is blue. Uh, this one has a little bit of a kind of thicker, almost chalkier formula. So it takes me two coats, but I do have to be kind of careful with my application to get, you know, the clean lines, uh, but it's worth it. This color is absolutely stunning and it's not like, it's not terrible to work with. And I bet if you put a wide brush in, it would be easier for you if you have bigger nail beds than I do. Uh, but I adore blue. I just think it's super light, super gorgeous, and just so clean. 
it's just so clean. It makes me so happy. I love this one. The next one from Zoya that I picked is Emerson. This one is from this year's collection, the spring collection. This one is a little bit more purple. Um, I did do a comparison of these two, so I can link it if you want to see them more up close. But Emerson has just like a drop more purple in it. Um, it's very similar in terms of its like white base. Um, the formula is pretty similar, but it does have a little bit more purple in it. You might even be able to see just compared to my nails here. Uh, but I will link my comparison video up above if you want to see a little bit more details here. I think Emerson is absolutely stunning. I adore this polish. I would say it actually has like an identical formula to blue. Like I don't think that one is better than the other, but I do think that both of the colors are gorgeous and different enough for you to have both in your collection. All right, and then if we go a couple drops more purple, we have Cirque Colors Highline. I adore this polish so much. Um, I wore it recently, so you'll see it in my April what I wore video coming up soon but I just love, love, love this polish. It is right on the line between blue and purple. It's super white based. I think this one has probably a better formula than both Emerson and blue. It's a little bit easier to work with, not quite as chalky, uh, but all three of them are absolutely stunning. And I think, I think you could have all three of these in your collection. I think they're pretty different, but I have worn all three of them so far this year. So <laughs> that's why, uh, but I absolutely adore these blues. Okay, next up I have some greens. Obviously, I picked three greens that I absolutely adore and I think they're pretty different. So the first one that I picked is from Zoya. This is Neely. This is one of my favorite polishes from Zoya. I think I think I love the color. I absolutely love the color. I think the formula is really good. Um, it's also one of the first Zoyas that I ever got, which I say every time I talk about this polish, but I just adore this one. Um, it kind of like helped me break out of my like gray, pink, red box, you know, and showed me that there are lots of other colors in the world. Uh, I just adore this polish. Neely is so fabulous. It's so perfect. It's like just enough green, uh, but it's still very neutral. It's perfect for the springtime because it just reminds me of like when everything starts to wake up, right? It's not quite spring yet, but everything is waking up, getting a little bit more green, a little bit brighter. Neely is that polish in a bottle. All right, and this one I actually haven't worn yet this year, but this is Cirque Color Succulent Garden. It's on my rack to wear. I just haven't quite gotten it yet. It hasn't felt like the right day, but Succulent Garden is an absolutely gorgeous shimmer with their like very scattered holographic flakes. They do this finish so beautifully. I have several of them. I adore it. Uh, I do typically wear this one in three coats, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, because it is a little thinner, so you can see that formula. But the base in here is just this like perfect, kind of succulent green, like muted green, and then it has a kind of copper shimmer and that holographic. It's perfect. It's so beautiful. Um, I absolutely adore this one. All right, and then this one is Palette Polish Sweet Mint. This is the last green that I picked. It is a little bit brighter than Zoya's Tiana, but if you wanted something similar, Tiana is a very similar effect. It's just not quite as bright and in your face. Sweet Mint is super bright, almost neon. I mean, not really neon, but like pastel neon maybe. I do think this one has a little bit of a thicker formula, so it takes a little bit of kind of manipulation and you just want to let it dry in between coats, but it's not challenging to work with. It's just not like flowing over your nails. Um, this one I absolutely adore from Palette Polish. Um, it's probably one of my top threes from this brand. All right, so those are my four categories. Now I have an honorable mentions category and these either didn't fit in because they didn't quite fit into a category or they're not available anymore and I just didn't want to include them, uh, but they're worth mentioning because I love them and I will definitely wear them this spring. The first one is Orly's Everything's Peachy. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but I have just not been super drawn to these like more orangey peachy shades yet. I think it's coming for me. I think I'm waiting for the weather to get a little warmer. I'm still living in the like, blue, purple, muted green territory. Uh, but in a couple weeks, I will be all over my corals, my light oranges, my peaches. Um, and I'm really looking forward to wearing this one. This is Everything's Peachy from last year's spring collection, I think from Orly. Uh, I adore this one. I think it has a really good formula, especially for this color. It's a lot better than the Zoyas that I have that are this color. I think it's a lot, a lot better than those formulas. All right, and then this one I didn't include in my greens because it's no longer available, but this is Polish's Nagini, and it's this very kind of dusty, muted, light green with the gold flaky finish that they do so, so beautifully. And I just adore this polish. It looks like you're wearing like jade stones on your nails or something. Um, it's so beautiful, and I got it last spring, so I wore it once, and I'm really excited to wear it again this year. I just think it's a perfect combination, the gold and the green. I adore this one. All right, and then this one I actually considered including my purples, but I haven't worn it as a full manicure yet. I've only swatched it and I felt like it was a little weird to not to put in a polish that I hadn't actually worn yet. This one was just released from Orly. This is Lilac You Mean It. This one is a little bit different than Haruko. It's not quite as 
um, kind of deep. It's like a little bit more lighter and pinker, a little bit more lilac maybe than it is purple. Uh, but I really like this one. I am curious to see how it compares to Haruko. I haven't done my comparison video yet for this collection, uh, but I am excited to see how this one compares. I, I think I'm really going to like it because I like Haruko so much, but again, I felt a little weird including it because I haven't worn it yet, so I'm just going to put it in my honorable mentions. If you have it, I would get it on because it looks really nice. And then my last honorable mention is Kale Polish St. Clair. I just adore this polish. It was my favorite polish for so long. Um, and then I tried to get as close as I could with my cornflower. I will keep this polish forever because I just absolutely love it. It was one of the first Kale polishes that I fell in love with. And so I think it really kind of drew me to that brand. I think it's perfect for spring. Um, there are some other periwinkles out there that are pretty close. I did a dupes comparison video for this last year. Um, and so I found some that were somewhat close. They weren't perfect, but they were close enough. So I will link that up above if you want to check that one out. Okay, awesome. Those are my spring favorites. Um, there are other polishes, of course, that I've worn this spring that I'm loving, but these are the ones that I'm really, really into right now. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know that spring is in some ways, you know, just starting and yet also <laughs> it feels like the season of spring for nail polish is also ending. Um, it snowed here yesterday. I'm wearing a sweater but it's the end of April. So the world is confused right now, but I'm wearing spring nail polish at least for a few more weeks. Um, like I said, I think I'll soon be transitioning into my like oranges and reds and corals. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, let me know what you're wearing for spring. Let me know if we had any favorites in common. And if you check out any other channels and you love them, let me know. I'd love to hear who you're discovering in this collaboration. Thank you so much for joining me today. I can't wait to see you in the next one.